it was a page turner. I, yeah, it was it was really, really lovely. It was very unusual. I thought it was very cleverly drawn. And the questions that it provoked in me as a reader were uh, fairly profound and substantial questions about, as I said, the nature of man and about uh, that kind of time honored um, query as to what is the fundamental experience of the human being? Is it more orchestrated by a fundamental nature or by a sense of nurture or environment? Um, and I, I loved it. I, I saw the part that I had as quite obviously on the page was a father figure and somebody that was there to kind of corral and guide and care for and monitor um, these children as they go from birth into young adulthood. And um, yeah, I loved it. I think Richard's lonely. I mean, he's got to be lonely. He's in space and he is, again, the only senior member of this this team um, heading into the void. So I think he has, you know, they all have each other to bounce off and, and they have him to bounce off. And there are v versions of therapeutic sessions that take place where Richard has a, a background in a certain degree of... of um, study in the realm of psychology and sociology so he's also in a position of preparation in relation to receive certain psychological or emotional things that any of the kids the young adults may be going through this is very much designed to entertain and and also you know to uh, provoke some thought as well you know i think it's a i think it's a, a worthwhile consideration for us as human beings to just um, to query our own natures and to also pay respect to everything that we've experienced in our life in the form of how we were nurtured or how we were not nurtured or what we felt was lacking or what we felt was abundant and to know that we carry all those pieces of information that are passed to us from very young ages through our lives but that we also do have as purportedly creatures that are above the common animal on the evolutionary scale transcendence of physical evolution but the evolutionary scale and regardless in regard to the idea of thought and consideration and compassion that we do have a responsibility and we do have an ability to access a fundamental nature that can give us an autonomy and allow us to make better choices in regard to serving our own lives and thereby serving the lives of the greater community that we're part of. I thought it was really interesting the way that not that that all of these characters not only Sela uh, get to explore kind of naturalism in a very unnatural circumstance and how to you know portray that kind of n numbed effect that they're all feeling by being on the blue but also remaining kind of as human as you can be, especially for Sela, because I think she is, to me, the character that has the most desire to be human and to feel human and to feel normal and to feel human connection and everything like that. And so those that was something that I was really excited to explore with her. And I also really admire just her kind of determination to be happy and to feel joy in whatever small ways that she can in this very kind of strange, um, you know, unnatural environment. I think that's what's really interesting about this film is that what it's really exploring is, you know, what are our true natures as human beings? You know, are we innately bad or good people? Um, and, you know, especially when people have been raised exactly in the same way in exactly the same environment, um, so that that's not a factor anymore, can we be inherently bad or inherently good? And I think that that's kind of the divide that happens and I think that that's kind of a the the real kind of fight and 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 um, struggle of this movie is kind of fighting against our own natures and figuring out you know what those even really are. Richard is the closest thing to a parent that they've ever known and that's kind of a very natural you know human relationship to crave is one with your parents um, you know or one with a caretaker of any kind and so I think that Selah being the one that's like has the most longing to feel human and to feel connection to somebody else really cherishes cherishes the relationship that she has with Richard because he gives her that human connection and he makes her feel cared for and and seen and look at looked after and that's why I think her, her relationship to him is uh, so special to her 
Colin's an actor that I that I love so much and whose work I've admired for so, so long. So I was so happy to find out that it was gonna be him playing Richard. And it's been just an absolute pleasure working with him. He's really just a lovely guy and so, so easy to work with. So it's been great. I think that fans will really respond to this film because it explores themes that are, that go beyond kind of a, a, a a sci-fi fantasy environment. It touches on real themes and real questions that we all have ourselves, like who are we? What is the meaning of life? You know, what are our true human natures? I think that those are things that people think about all the time. And so the fact that this movie um, really is about that, I think, will speak to a lot, a lot of people and you know, people beyond just sci-fi fans. Christopher and Zach discover that the blue's purpose is actually to kind of numb and dull all of our natural senses and the natural things that we would be feeling at this age, whether that's sexual desire or, or just kind of any kind of surplus of energy. Um, they don't want us to be feeling any of that and it's also hard to be feeling all those things living in such a confined space when there is no way out of it. So it's um, kind of a drug that they have created in order to make life kind of possible for us, so to speak, on the ship, but also to kind of dull all of the senses that they don't want um, so exuberant as it would make life and work here on the ship um, I mean, almost impossible. Sela really starts to feel the most human when she goes off the blue, like all of them kind of do. She's starting to feel all those senses that have been kind of, that she's been kind of deprived of that are normal human senses to feel. And so I think that she's coming into all of that. And with that also coming into her leadership qualities that to me, she has innately in her. Um, and I feel like she really comes into her own as a person and as a leader when she goes off the blue. To me, the biggest theme of this movie is, is human nature and, and who are we really at our core when we take away things like experience and, and environment and childhood and all those things that aren't factors in this story. Who are we really when we are, you know, quote unquote, like it's said in the script, pure humans, when we are completely unaffected by experience or, or, or anything like that, and we're all raised exactly the same way in kind of the most basic, necessary way possible, who are we really at our core as humans, and what is our true nature when we're left to our own devices like this? Um, to me, that's the biggest theme in the movie and something that's explored um, quite thoroughly and, and very interestingly.